hello everyone once again welcome to pm networking guys today in this video we are going to discuss offset list offset list so before configuring offset list understand what is offset list so guys offset list is used to actually there is two use of offset list number one offset list is used to perform equal cost load balancing load balancing right to perform equal cost load balancing and second use of offset list is to perform to perform path manipulation path manipulation right so with the help of offset list we can perform equal cost load balancing with the help of offset list we can perform path manipulation as well but what is offset list this offset list is a mechanism which is used to add some decimal value in existing matrix of eigrp routes so suppose here is one network running right one network is running over here that is 10.1.1.0/24 so when i will configure eigrp on this router right r1 will receive this prefix from two side from two side right so suppose r1 is calculating matrix via r2 r2 is 100 and r1 is calculating matrix for this network via r3 is 150 so definitely this path will become successor this path will become successor and suppose this path will become feasible successor or not if if this path will Uh, match feasibility condition then definitely th this path will become feasible successor okay now if i want to perform equal cost load balancing what we need to do over here we can we, we can uh, manipulate with delay and bandwidth of this link and this link right of this interface and this interface but it's very complicated and we can't If we can't change the speed of this link right because here is i uh, here i am using serial link here i am using fast ethernet link so definitely a speed of this link is less right so this is not good idea that we can decrease the speed of this link right so how we can perform equal cost load balancing by using offset list right actually if i will set offset list 50 on this interface right then 50 decimal value will add in this existing matrix right so now matrix from this side is 150 now matrix is same definitely r1 will perform load balancing which type of load balancing equal cost load balancing so with the help of offset list we can add a decimal value in existing matrix in existing matrix suppose r1 is receiving r1 is calculating matrix 100 and r2 is calculating matrix 200 r1 is calculating matrix 200 via r3 r1 is calculating matrix 100 via r2 and if i want to perform equal cost load balancing so we have to we have to configure offset list offset list right and matrix that i i want i want to add in existing matrix is 100 right if i will add 100 value decimal value on this existing value then definitely total matrix will be 200 right now matrix from both side is equal then definitely r1 will perform equal cost load balancing right but understand where you can apply offset list either you can apply offset list in for incoming traffic and for outgoing traffic right so if you will apply offset list or if you will add 50 matrix on this interface then direction will be in if you will add 50 matrix on this interface then direction will be out or you can add on any interface right if we will increase matrix by 15 then definitely cost from both side will be equal right so if i want to add on this interface direction will be in if i want to add on this interface direction will be out fine now guys let me show you how to 
configure ops at least so first of all here you can see so ip protocol here i am running eigrp 100 here i am running eigrp 100 right and so ip eigrp topology so ip eigrp topology you can see the topology table of r1 so this is prefix 10.1.1.0 how many successor there is only one successor fd is 158720 right there is two paths so this is successor and this is feasible successor but this software is not performing load balancing now so ip root there is only one path in routing table right so i want to perform equal cost load balancing so what we need to do over here so ip pigrp topology guys understand one more thing how to find suppose this order is calculating metric 100 over here and 150 over here right so to perform equal cost load balancing how much metric we need to add over here right so to find that you need to sub subtract this value from this value so 150 minus 100 so you will get 50 okay so once you will add 50 then cost will be equal from both side so now understand first key what value we need to add right over here so here you can see here you can see there is 10 prefix 10 prefix via r2 matrix is via r2 matrix is 1 5 1 5 8 7 2 0 via R3 matrix is 2300416, right? So to perform equal cost load balancing, we have to configure offset list. So to find offset list, you need to subtract this value, okay? So 2300416 minus 1587.20. So value I am getting over here is... 2141696 okay okay fine let me show you how to perform equal cost load balancing so first of all to configure offset list or to perform offset list you have to configure access list guys okay, so what is the use of access list access list there is two use of access list one is access list is used to permit or deny the traffic and other use of access list is to make any traffic as interesting traffic right so here this traffic is my interesting traffic for this traffic i want to apply offset list so for this traffic i will create one access list on r1 right so go to r1 go to r1 configure terminal access list suppose access list number is 10 and permit Network is 10.1.1.0, wildcard mask is 0.0.255. Okay, after that, okay, after that, router PIGRP 100, right, and offset list, list number is 10, and direction will be in after that metric. What metric you want to add? Two one four one six nine six, right? Two one four one six nine six, right? And on which interface? On fast Ethernet zero slash zero. Now you can see. So IP root. Now for ten network, just wait for some time. So IP root. So now R1 is performing equal cost load balancing, right? You can see so IP PHERP topology. So here is 10 prefix. How many successor? There are two successor now. Now again FT is 158720, but cost is this one. So this this sorter is performing equal cost load balancing for this prefix how to verify you can verify by using this command so ip protocol 
now you can see over here incoming routes in fast ethernet 0 slash 0 will have 1241696 added to matrix if if on list 10 okay so ip route so this router is performing equal cost load balancing trace route 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 right you can see fine now this is how you can use offset list to perform equal cost load balancing my question is how to how to use offset list to perform path manipulation so suppose earlier this path was successor right and now if i want to make this path as successor and i want i don't want to that that r1 will send any traffic via this path right so what we can do what we can do we can add actually understand first so ip protocol so ip protocol now i am adding this metric right if i will add one more metric over here two one four one six nine six if i will add seven if i will add seven in this offset list then what will happen then what will happen then cost from from this side will be more and cost from this side will be list so this path will become successor and this path will become feasible successor right so this is how you can use offset list in your network okay so that's all for today there is nothing more there is nothing nothing more concept in offset list right so that's all for today if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel pm networking okay we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye